Hello, and welcome to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town Expansion Pass, review from Eli the Gamer. So today we'll look at all four of the different things that it adds, and then I'll tell my thoughts on them. Some of them I was pleasantly surprised, and then some of them I was a bit disappointed. So let's go through all of them one by one. Okay, let's start off with the thing that I was most disappointed in, so that way we can get the bad out of the way right away. Um, I really did not enjoy the mystery files, and I didn't enjoy the sprite dance either. Here we can see a few clips of the cutscenes from the mystery files. Um, the mystery files storyline is a lot like the regular storyline. It's basically you'll watch a scene, and then they'll ask you to provide some materials, and then they'll give you some little reward for it. Um, the cutscenes, like, they're not really that exciting. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> um, when I heard Mystery Files, I was kind of excited because I thought that maybe we would be, you know, actually unraveling a mystery. Um, but it's not that fun at all. So I was pretty disappointed with this aspect of it. Um, and then the outfits that they give you, eh. Like, I probably would never use these, but they're not, like, awful. Okay, the second thing that it adds is these six outfits for the protagonist. And once you get the pass, you get these six ones immediately. Like, you can just go to the shop, and then you can get them custom made, and they're only zero gold. So, I don't know why they make you even work for it, but... Yeah, you can just go to the shop and get them for free. These outfits, I actually quite like them. Um, I especially like the two in the middle from Mineral Town, and I also like the one on the end that's like a, a dress. The hats, however, <laughs> I think they're pretty bad. Like, I don't think any of these hats look good at all. For these six outfits, I can't really say whether I'm happy with them or disappointed in them because, you know, you get exactly what it tells you. Okay, so number three, we have these Marriage Candidate Expansion Packs. What this does is it gives you three areas, and in each area there's four NPCs, two of which are Marriage Candidates. There's six more Marriage Candidates, and I do like them, and I think their cutscenes are done really well. And these six characters, they all have pretty decent personalities, um, so that's good. But then everything else about this <laughs> is disappointing. Uh, I hate that the areas are just empty and there's nothing in them. I hate that you have to go separately to these islands. Like, you have to ride a boat to go to the first place, and then you'll have to ride a boat to go to the second one and the third one. Um, I really wish they had just put them all together. This part of the expansion pack I also was a bit disappointed in. Um, you have to wait for the load times when you go there and when you come back. So it's not like in one day <laughs> you'll want to go to all three of these places because you'll take a boat ride to one of them, have to wait. Then you'll talk to a couple NPCs and then take another boat away and you have to wait again. And then you're kind of like, is it even really worth it just to talk to four people in this empty area? I don't think it is. <laughs> With this part of it, it's like if you want to marry one of these marriage candidates, then maybe you could say that it's worth it. But if you're just playing the game, like <laughs> it's another area to go to where you have to, you know, wait for load times to and from. So I was even a bit disappointed by this. Like, fine, they're empty areas, but put them all together. Then I don't have to have these long load times in between them. I really feel like they could have <laughs> just had these three areas all in one area. And then it would have been so much better. But as it is, I don't really like it. Okay, now we're on to the last aspect of the expansion pass, and that is the additional outfits for the protagonists and for the marriage candidates. This one, I first saw the animal attire for the marriage candidates, and I was just like, ugh. I really don't like these animal outfits. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I know some people like them, but for me, like... They just look too goofy, and it's, it would be too distracting from the game. And then I saw that the other two are school uniforms and then yukata, like, Japanese um, attire. And I was like, ugh, like, none of these are really my style. <laughs> like, I'm not really too excited about this. Um, and actually, for the longest time, I didn't even use this part of the DLC because, um, you know, I was like, oh, I like all of them having their own personality. Whereas if I use one of these, it's like they're all going to be kind of the same. But then, just for the heck of it, I tried on the school uniforms, and I was like, wow, 
this is a lot cooler than I thought it was. So here you can see me going around and talking to a few of the guys while they're wearing the school uniforms. Um, some of these outfits, they're really cool, like they still kind of reflect their own personalities, so that's cool. And then look at freaking Ralph. He looks so much better without a hat on. Why do they have him wear a really ugly freaking hat in the game? And then, <laughs> you know, for the DLC, they let him take his hat off. I almost think that this expansion pass is worth it just for him to take his hat off. I mean, look at how handsome he looks now. I can't believe the difference. Okay, so those are all the four aspects of the expansion pass. I think the number one thing that you have to know about the expansion pass is that it's almost exclusively just cosmetics. There's no new items, there's just a bunch of empty spaces with some new characters, but even that you could still kind of consider it cosmetic. And then they try to almost make you think that you're going to get more storyline by doing the mystery files and the sprite dance, but I almost wouldn't even consider that more gameplay. <laughs> Um, so if you buy this pass, just go into it knowing that you're buying it just for the cosmetics. That being said, I almost think that it's worth it. Almost. <laughs> if you really like Pioneers of Olive Town and you want to mix up your next playthrough, I think it's not, it's not that bad of a deal. You can get it for like $15. Um, so it's okay. I guess that would be my final <laughs> review of it. It's probably like a 7 out of 10, I guess I would say. Because I do think that some of the new outfits look pretty good, and I like being able to change the outfits that the other characters in the town wear. I hope that this is something that they do in future games as well. So, did you see anything you liked in this video? Were you also shocked at how much more handsome Ralph looks without his hat? Because <laughs> I know I was. But yeah, make sure to leave a comment saying what you think of the DLC. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.